these participants are pushing for more space for women and girls in the global science and innovation arena. They firmly argue that is the only way one can see a transformed world. Of the female students in those universities, in those engineering colleges, and in other colleges, only 25% are women. Out of this, only 20% are in engineering. Only 20% are engineering. This is because it is in the society still, since we have not democratized the society, science is alien to women. Organizers of this international event say aim is to shed more light, create a platform for open discussion and seek change that will eventually see more women leading in the area of science and innovation. This workshop we are having very renowned international uh, women scientists. So they will be the role models to our researchers. 36 universities are represented in this meeting. We have a relationship with African women in a world relationship. We have also with many international organizations already. So some proposals and project intervention formulations are already going on. Some tend to believe Africa needs to open more doors for its women, especially in agriculture, to take part in research and innovation. It's the small farm holders whether it's the policy makers, the politicians, the academicians, the researchers, all of us have a, low, a role to play. We all have to contribute to the success of meeting our, our agricultural needs and our food uh, production needs. Many believe for Africa's transformation based on the continent's 50 years plan, that is Agenda 2063, continental advancement in science and innovation is key and is a matter of higher urgency. Many also say if agriculture and its biggest workers on the sector in Africa, women can meet with science and technology, then problem solved. Group Dara CGTN, Mekele, Ethiopia.